Yes, 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 ladies and boys and girls, to my peoples and mass. Look alive, look alive. It's your boy, Act Reacher, with another episode of the Jab Jamboree. Produced by the LDBC, executive produced by the Full Berserker Clan. We in this thing, man. Been a while, been a while. Been a long time, been a long time. Um, sorry, you know what I mean, to all my peoples out there that, you know, I haven't really been active like that, um, been going through some things, but, you know, nevertheless, you know, we still here, um, uh, we ain't going nowhere, uh, shout out to all my bros, uh, that have been holding the set, um, Mac 503, you know, uh, well, sorry, stay ready. 503. Um, appreciate appreciate the brothers, man, for holding it down while I was going through uh I'll put it this way, my moment of uh darkness. Uh you know, kind of like uh changing events for me. <clears throat> but you know, I'm grateful. You know, what I mean that you know I'm here talking with y'all breathing. Um we're gonna still talk about this boxing. 
Um, it's a lot of a lot a lot of stuff to cover. Found out some 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 new news that I don't know. Maybe the pe people will be excited about. Maybe not. But uh, neither here nor there. Um, you know what I mean. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna still do my thing, and uh, we 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 gonna talk about it. So we got a couple things taking place. You know, of course, you guys know tonight we got uh, KSI versus uh, Logan Paul. I didn't really know too much about these guys, and I'm going to be uh, completely uh, honest with you guys. I, I didn't really know. I never even had truthfully watched the first fight between these two. Never watched, never watched it. And um, I, I um, tuned in to the first match. Before I started watching any of the 40 days or anything like that, I tuned in, you know what I mean, to, to the first fight. I figured I might as well do it that way first so I could kind of, you know what I mean, after, you know, see, see you know, where they at uh, personality wise. Cause like I said, I didn't really know about uh, KSI or like they call them in the UK, JJ, JJ, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, Logan Paul too much. Um, I had it even when I actually scored, I actually scored the first fight. I really did have it even, I forgot how I got there, but it, it, they, they was on the money. I thought it was a draw six rounder. And uh, after that, I, I I went on and started watching, you know, videos and, and think, you know, the 40 days and stuff, whatever they, you know, they got on YouTube on the zone or whatever. And uh, I, I, I watched them and I didn't really have a clear understanding of both of them, but that kind of made me understood them more. Uh, Logan Paul, I didn't really even remember him too much on YouTube like that. To be honest with you, they said that he started off doing the vines and then he transitioned to YouTube and, and stuff like that. And um, a lot of people ask me, do I think that that's a spit in the face or an insult uh, to boxing him and KSI fighting? I don't view it that way. I feel like any attention on boxing, if you ask from my point of view, is uh, always a good thing. Um, so, you know, just like if we would have got the Chris Brown and the Soldier Boy boxing match, I feel like if Eddie Hearn would have got a hold of them two, that fight probably would have happened. I hate to say it, but I think Eddie Hearn would have made that happen. So I'm, I'm always down for celebrity boxing because I'd rather it be that than lead, uh, to something else, uh, more tragic. You know, so uh, I pre I, I actually I don't mind it. I just don't like the fact. Well, we go get into Devin Haney after and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, like uh, looking at it from Logan Paul's uh, standpoint, you know, he's from America. Uh, he's originally from Ohio, so I, I I didn't know that. Like I would have never, you know these dudes it actually gave them a chance to see what type of person they are. forget the box you know what i mean i i wanted to see what type of uh people these two individual guys were so i i see that you know logan paul is like you know a lot of the a lot of my white brothers that i grew up with very outgoing and you know i kind of you know i like his personality you know he's uh willing to pull it all on the line and, and stuff like that i like that Shannon Briggs uh, rolls with him. Hold on, let me get in this chat. Uh, of course, my brother Trick Nolte said, what's up, Ak? Hey, Lala D, she said, I'm listening, but my move is here running in and out. I, I, I know Lala D rich, I, I, I see. I see. <laughs> uh, Trick Nolte said, how you doing? I'm, I'm all right, brother, I'm all right. Feel, feeling a little better. I was actually in the mood to go live. Okay, y'all talking. So yeah, man. Um, but like I said, as far as uh yeah, Logan Paul, you know, and uh even in that match, 
even in that match, <laughs> I see what you said, Lala D. She said, yeah, right, because I said, uh, you, you think you rich Porter. You know what I mean? You got the movers on deck. You better get your brothers or your cousins to help you out or something. Shoot. But anyway, um, yeah, man, he, he's like a real outgoing dude. Uh, he got, I don't know, man, he looked like a heavyweight to me, man. Look like a heavyweight to me. A lot of people was like, "Dag, he still got all of that big muscle, man. He going to still tire in that fight. Mark my words. He going to get tired in that fight because of all of that muscle. I don't know why Shannon Briggs, you know what I mean? Um, they should have hired a better dietitian, if you ask me. They should have hired a way better dietitian. I don't. He should have. You never. You're not supposed to be like that in boxing, man. I mean, yeah, if you at heavyweight, it's okay. But me personally, I feel as though, like, that's not, nah, man. Like, he's, he's too big. He's going to get tired by at least the third round going into the fourth round. Oh, now you, oh, Trick talking to, um, la, la, la. But, um, yeah, man. I, I just feel as though that that's too much muscle mask. I I I always said I'm gonna go with the American. You know what I mean? I I want to go with Logan Paul, but I'm a I I I think I think KSI might. I, but then again, I can't say that because this is in grown man gloves, ten or eight ounce gloves, depending on what weight class you fight after. You know, from uh straw weight. All the way up to 147, you wear eight ounce gloves. From 54 to heavyweight, you wear 10 ounce gloves. And you know that could make a big difference. You gotta understand you when you get your hand wrapped, that's like a little cast. And then on top of that, the glove. So that's why, you know, sometimes in the amateurs, you may have never got knocked down or knocked out, but it feels uh, different, you know. I'm not pro yet, but from what they tell me, is uh, is it, different. You know, um, it, it's completely different. I I'll let you guys know. You know, on my pro debut, if, if I even get touched, you know, what I mean, uh, you know, um, man, come on, damn notifications. Snacks B, my dog was shaking. I already know, brother. He said 718 here. I already know, Snacks. You already know you go with me. Know you and why till we die, champ. You already know what time it is. Oh uh, it's always it's always good to see my my tri-state area, my New York people, even my people like Trick Nolte from Texas. I feel like that's gonna be my second home, man. But anyway, let me stay on let me stay on track. Let me stay on track. Um, so then I watched uh KSI, and uh, KSI had a similar. He had a, a similar uh, story as far as being an internet sensation, but only difference in another country, which is the you know the UK. And he's really uh, well known. Um, I think I, I think you know as far as his uh, creativity, because he also does music too. Uh, he 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 seems like a really cool dude. You know what I mean? Um, he he actually i didn't realize because logan paul was going through something i didn't uh uh i think in another country he had had an issue and i heard that he was kind of like suicidal and he was really on a decline so actually ksi you know what i mean doing his little uh youtube boxing events uh you know uh he uh reached out to logan paul and you know, helped him out, and also gave him a chance to make some money. So um, I actually respect KSI or JJ, as they call him in the UK. Uh, I, I respect him for that. I respect him 
a whole lot. You know what I mean for that? A lot, you know, because you you don't you don't have to do that for another person. Yeah, I know that. You you don't ever have to do that for another person. He could have found somebody else that had a decent following on YouTube and could have uh fought them. But uh he kind of bought Logan Paul out of his shell. Now, as far as me saying who had the better boxing ability when I watch the first match, I gotta be completely honest with you. I thought, in my opinion, to me, I thought that uh KSI showed a better gas tank. And y'all know how I feel about stamina and gas tanks and breath control in the fight. I don't want I don't want to get too scientific cuz y'all might start dropping out of the chat. I don't I don't want to get too scientific cuz y'all know I I got you know I'm from another place with this boxing shit. I'm not your average person that just views it, you know what I mean, the average way, but I'm coming from another place with this. Oh. Um, I just felt like gas tank wise, especially in the second half of the fight, I got to agree. You know what I mean? I think that KSI gas tank wise, because he doesn't have those bulky muscles, even though he's not as ripped and as cut, you can still be ripped and cut and still have lean muscle. And uh, we got my brother in the building. Uh, stay ready. Uh, I'm going to let him uh, chime in on this topic. Uh, when I get done uh, breaking down what I was saying, uh, and I just seen you in the uh, chat. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know you was live. I just so happened to look. I, I know, man. Face. That's the same thing with you, man. I got to, when, when I hear that you go alive, I actually got to check in your shit. I got to go in, you know what I mean, inside your, your, your thing, man. I don't, I don't know why. It, it, uh, uh, the general was in line when he said that. Like I don't be getting your notifications. Yeah, I don't. You, you and legendary. Yeah, I get, I get top cast notifications. I don't, I don't know why I never get legendaries. If legendary's doing something, I have to catch him. Yeah. And then uh, Trick Noti said preach. Uh, and then Lala D says stay ready. Okay, so yeah, What's like I, Lala D. Um, she'll never I, come to my live no more. Lala D, she, you know, you know, she moved, you know, she, she done, she oh, moved. Oh, yeah, that's right. She, she I moved, forget. so we, we, we gotta, gotta let her rock. We, we gotta okay. let her rock. I'll, I'll, I'll let you make it. See, Lala D, see, don't ever say I didn't defend you. Don't ever say I didn't defend you. I but need anyway. you back, champ. <laughs> um, okay, so I was talking about Mac, Logan Paul, and KSI. Thank you for coming in for my first live back. All right. Um, I was saying, me personally, I went back and I watched the fight, the first one, because mm -hmm. I'd never seen it up until recently. And uh, I was also saying the reasons why I said I would like Logan Paul to win if he can, because I really don't know in this fight. This is one fight I really don't know. But I, I favor KSI <laughs> slightly because I seen where that gas tank was at. Good. If you go back and look at it, they both. This is a, they had that one professional. I mean, one amateur fight between the two. Then they go professional. They literally are pro fighters now, without the headgear, and it's You're them right. two. And I'm, right. I'm looking at it like, bro, y'all not even. I, I don't know how you can really judge that from an amateur fight to the pros now. Because it's gonna be judged completely. You're different. right. It's not even like they gave us three amateur fights, or you know, what yeah. I'm saying four or something we could gauge. You, you don't have nothing to gauge off of. Only thing you can go off of is, is athleticism and, and, and who looked talented in, in the amateur fight. Because you really can't gauge the fight. And when you look at it, KSI was giving Logan Paul the business. <laughs> I, I think that's what I'm saying, Mac. I, I gotta admit that. I got to admit that, bro. Like, I felt the same way. I was like, Logan Paul did good, like, the first two rounds. He was boxing. He kept, but he did what you always would say. Don't admire your work. He yeah. was the definition 
in that fight to me of admiring his work. He seen once his jab started landing, and he landed a few right hands, and he stumbled KSI. He kind of got overconfident to me. Yeah. Yeah, but see, they 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 they're not fighters, so you know you got to look at them. You got you right. You right. I can't right. look at them and judge them as a fighter. I can't. <laughs> You just you just can't. I don't know if you if you want to look it's at it that that's way why and try I can't to defend it, but you can't. So you're probably right. That's why I can't, not, got no this, clear. This, bro, this is this is celebrity death match, basically. This is basically <laughs> a celebrity death match because you can't go in here with a with a boxing mind and try to and try to analyze this fight. You just can't do it. It's gonna be hard, and that's what, I, I don't even think I'm watching the fight. I'm sorry. I thought about it. Only, I, only I really, I really want to see Devin, though. I really want to see Devin. That's Devin. it. That's it. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Um, oh, you, you remember the dude's name that he's fighting, bro? Mm, Santiago something. Sant yeah. Um, yeah, he looked like he had some size to him or whatever. Like he looked as as small as the you know average lightweights that a lot of uh, the prospects. Well, I can't call it Devin. Devin Haney's no longer a prospect to me, so let me not even disrespect. He actually kind of. If now that I think about it, Mac, he actually got a belt younger than Tank did. Tank was twenty two. Devin 20. That's crazy when I think about it. Yeah. I, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's not that hard for him to move up and grab another title at 140. And then he'll kind of actually surpass Tank. Well, I can't say that because they're going to count this regular shit. That Tank is about to win against Ian Bold. So may, they, they, they'll consider him a two-weight division. Oh, my, my other brother just jumped in. Uh, What's going down? On, 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 on. It's the 503. The lying at that age time street. Flip, flip, no time. <laughs> Yo, uh, how you feel about, because I was asking Mac, uh, 503, how you feel about this Logan Paul at KSI? Do you, do you see any clear-cut victory for anybody? On either side, or do you favor anybody? I said I slightly favor KSI, even though I want the American fighter to win. Uh, I I, I gotta disagree with you, bro. I'm I'm favoring my man Logan Paul, bro. He got the size advantage. He got the uh height, the reach. You know what I'm saying? In the last fight, I was watching a little bit of it this morning. Man. He was jabbing the fuck. He was jabbing the fuck out of the KSI little midget ass man. But uh, I think I think KSI is trying to put a statement in this fight, man. Like I said on my on my live stream yesterday, uh, homie been dropping scoring partners in the in the in the uh in the Mayweather gym. So I don't know, bro. I don't know who 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 he was scoring or how good these guys was he was scoring. But that's 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 what I heard. And that's what I seen on Instagram. So uh, I I still got a favorite American guy, man. I'm sorry, man. Um, I'm, I'm I'm not so I'm like I said, bro. And I was telling this to BFCB last night because he was talking shit on Instagram. I'm only here for Devin Haney, bro. I, I really don't care about this fight, bro. Truth, truth be told, I'm gonna watch a little bit of it, man. But I'm gonna be speaking back and forth from the ESPN top rank card, bro. Because I gotta watch my hearing in the month, bro. I gotta watch. This. I ain't gonna lie, I was saying that too. I know it's gonna be like that over on my side too. I'm yeah, gonna kind of be. I, I don't worry. We gonna get into that. We gonna get it. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. No, no. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm just saying how I feel about the fight, bro. But uh, I, I will have. I'm leaning. I'm leaning more towards uh Logan Paul to get the to get the win this time. I kind of feel like he won the first fight, man. But KSI was making it close. You know what I'm saying? But it, it is what it is, man. I really don't care who win or who who don't, bro. Cause this ain't this ain't real boxing, bro. This is a, this is a celebrity match. You know what I'm saying? It's like some celebrity death match type shit. Yeah, you know what word. that's what Max said. That's what Max said. <laughs> shit, I love that shit as a kid too. Let me get in this chat real quick, and then we gonna. He said, "Uh, Trick Note." He said, "It is it me or Devin Haney opponent look like Chris Brown?" Come on, man! Don't disrespect <laughs> my. 
<laughs> he said, what's up, 503, Trick Nolte. And then Blake says, salute. And uh, hold on. I'm sorry. I think I'm. Uh, Bl uh, Mark Blake said, yeah, I agree. Haney should be the main event. Renee Boxing, what's up? Big X, salute. I can't say. Hold on. I got I to gotta go back to that comment. I can't say Devin should be the main event. I'm gonna say Devin should should be on his own call. I I, I agree with Matt on that. I, I agree with he, you on that. He, he can not break be breaking up a little bit, man. The main event on this. Dang. Mac. Yo, can, can you hear me, bro? Yeah, you good. Mac was okay. breaking up. Let me um let me finish. Uh strict note to say what kind of promoter is Eddie Hearn? Uh, oh the heck, y'all coming in fast, man. Uh Kenneth Johnson said, What's up, Act and Panel? <laughs> Uh, my boy, my Cuban brother. Hey, see you in a minute. One of the ones. He said, peace, peace. Uh, Snacks B said, don't know these dudes that all. Fuck, boy. <laughs> Yo, you, you crazy, bro. Uh, uh, Y'all yeah, just ain't what up to each other. All right, cool. Mac, you back? Okay, I don't know. I guess Mac is in a bad area. Yeah, man. Um, I, like I said, I don't. I didn't know any of these guys either. I didn't know anything about these guys. I didn't even watch the first fight. I had to go back and watch the first fight, and I had to even. I didn't think Logan Paul. I thought Logan Paul stamina looked horrible. In, in my in my boxing world, you know what I mean. Like three rounds getting tired. You better not do that in my gym. Yeah, I mean, niggas will eat you alive. It don't matter if the niggas is 130 or, or 160. I go front, just don't get tired, man. I ain't going to lie because it's going to get real ugly for you. That's that's one of the things we work on. You know what I mean? We we, we emulate doghouse fighting. You know what I mean? With no time limit. And sometimes we even try to do 10-minute rounds, killing ourselves. Damn it. So, yeah, you don't. I, I just hope that. I think the main thing Logan Paul had to work on was that gas tank. If I could trust Logan Paul's gas tank, I wouldn't even be questioning him right now. But to me, that gas tank is everything. Breath control, all of that. You know, now I know he over there in California. I know he did swimming, but your stamina ain't going to just increase in one fight. It's not going to just increase in one fight uh, miraculously. Now, like I said, in the stamina department, if we was to pick a winner, I'm sorry. JJ, like my UK brothers call him, or KSI, what we call him in America, they kill me when they call him JJ. <laughs> Those UK dudes. But, um, yeah, man. JJ, you went to private school. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> Yeah, he's stupid. Five oh three. Um, yeah, man. Um, his gas tank looked it way better. It just looked it way better, especially the second half. He was like, even Logan Paul admitted that. He said he was done. Let me get in here, y'all. Y'all writing again? All right, yes, man. Uh, um, said trick no teeth. Oh, nah, y'all talking to each other. Uh, snacks. B said Caleb boxing is fun. Uh, um, these dudes should never be over Haney in the car. I hear you. Uh, Renee Boxer said, man, them dogs are fun. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, my bad, uh, man. I, I ain't winning my garage. He That's said, right. send me a link. Uh, if you got, uh, just, just give me, just, just write your email in the chat. I'm going to email it to you. One of them ones. Mm -hmm. Does your email work? Because I don't got Discord. I, you know, I, I, I that five hundred three uh, jumped out. Yeah, I hear you. Did you? You wanted to say something? 
Cause no, I heard, no, no. Oh, okay. I was, I just, I put in my garage and, and you know, just went up. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Mad metal, mad metal in, in the garage. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, man. So, uh, let you you want to move? I, I kind of didn't want to move because I want to get uh one of them ones on to give his opinion because I know he know Gigi like that KSI. Oh, um, y'all want to come? He, he said whatever y'all want to call him. Well, I think in America he's solidified as KSI, but I think in the UK they gonna call him JJ. Oh my God, they blocked my email, but it's. All right, let me. Yeah. You got, but you gotta have another email though, one of more. You only got one email. I got like six of them shit. Yeah, I was about to say I even got two, and I'm not. Y'all know I ain't a computer dude like that. Okay, so it's still the same. Them, them, ones. Okay. Oops. All right. All right. I sent it to you one of them ones. Let, just let me know if you got it, bro. He said, I haven't been bothered to set up another email yet. I should do one. Yeah, man. Yeah. We we come on, man. You know, you know, shoot, man. A lot of people be missing the action. But yeah, I kinda I kinda hopefully you could jump on because when after you jump on, I want to move off from this topic, and uh, I'm gonna uh, talk about uh, uh, another thing that I heard about in boxing. But I'm I'm gonna stay on I'm gonna stay on topic. Uh, we are gonna talk about uh, Devin Haney, and then from Devin Haney, uh, we are gonna go on to the Lamont Roach Jr. and uh, Jamal Heron fight, and then after that, I want to talk about. Uh, uh Inoue in a potential matchup with this person that I heard about. So uh yeah, we got a few topics uh to cover. All right, so my boy 503 is back. All right, you know what? If you get it, if you get it, uh check your email, one of them ones. If you get it, you know, just hop in. We're gonna move on. We're gonna talk about Devin Haney and the 135 uh landscape uh real quick. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Devin Haney, you know, the WBC lightweight champion, um, you know, he'll be fighting tonight. He said, uh, yeah, uh, low, uh, let me real quick. God, yeah. 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 Just coming in here. This shit is just fun. Flying, I would have thought I had a hundred people in here. Uh, poor KSI, fuck his name. <laughs> yo, Stacks V is thugging today. Yo, why you thugging today, Stacks V? Y'all think KSI and Logan Paul are gonna uh pursue boxing professionally for now on with celebrity privileges? Okay. Okay. No, okay. Yeah. I know. Yeah. y'all got it. man. Look, check this out. I know, I hear five or three say hell no, man. They they turned pro for this fight. KSI also said he wanted to fight another person professionally. It might not be nobody major, but I do believe they're going to fight. He, I, I believe KSI fight another person. I'm not saying he's he going to win and that he's good, but I do believe he, he you know, you get, you get a bug in you, people will do shit just to try it. That's true. But he had fought and, somebody before uh, Logan Paul. And then he called Logan Paul out. Uh, so he was doing like uh, some celebrity matches from the videos that I was looking up and I watched. And then he said, yeah, they say anybody else you think you're going to fight? He said, what about uh, the guy Logan Paul? Like I said, they were showing like how the first fight came to fruition and all of that. So uh, let me shout out uh, uh, the lovely Denise Ward. How you doing, sister? Thank you. Hey, Miss Ward. Man, appreciate you for always showing love too. Always, always, always showing love, man. Big so supporter, big supporter, man. Much love to Miss Wolves. 
Uh, <laughs> he said, match. <laughs> Snacks B is my. <laughs> Uh, What's next, B C? He says, uh, match up. <laughs> uh, Jamaican terminology. Uh, they are bringing a yeah, lot, I... they bringing a lot of casuals in. That's why I see what Miss Denise Ward said right there. They are bringing a lot of, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that, you know, I really do. Oh, we we it's looking like we got the, I guess. Hold on. Hold on. It says device not connected. Um, one, I'm waiting for it to for it to connect to you, brother. And you know, you I don't know what's up. Okay, there we go. Okay, one of them ones, what's up? Yo, 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 check, check. Bless up. Oh, I hear a little man. echo. I hear a little echo. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me turn the, the volume down. Yeah, please. Thank you, sir. Oh man, man, it's been a while since I've been over in the box. Oh, yo, it's <laughs> for got real. Free in here. We got Act Reacher. Stay ready. Shit. Oh, good, uh, welcome What's back. Welcome, welcome back. Yo, for real, man. Especially my first show back. So for real, man. For real. <sighs> Do you got any headphones in or anything? Yeah, yeah the headphones I got, it kind of has a, I have to turn the volume down really low, otherwise it starts to echo. So, yeah. Uh, is it yeah. still echoing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me turn it down. Uh, hold on. I, All right. Yeah, I don't you, know. I was going to say, yeah. I'm going to just go on mute and uh, you go talk, you know what I mean? Because I know you know. Now, I'm not saying a lot, probably about Logan Paul and KSI, but I know you probably know KSI. So, so uh, let the people know what's up and what you think about that fight, the overall spectacle. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, <laughs> oh man, um, I just had to take a minute to see how I can conduct this and put it in a in a uh, uh, present my kind of case. All right, so KSI. Um, Man, okay, I'm not a specialist on him. I, I, you know, he's a um, he's a YouTuber. Um, he started out playing a game called FIFA, which is um, a football game, or say um, for my soccer my in America. Y yeah, that's it, soccer. Yeah, soccer. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he started playing that, and then you know he built a following. I've never liked Kersai, man. I've never liked him. Um, he, he's just a buffoon. He's a clown to me. Um, when I used to, cause you know, every now and again, his live streams used to come across my thing. Every time I click on him, you'd have to turn the volume on. You'd have to put the volume on mute because he's just so loud. That even when you put him on mute, he, he, he's still blowing out your headphones. You know what I mean? I, I've never liked him anyway, but big him up because he's, he's created a following and you know, he's carved his own lane. So that's him. Now, another reason why I don't like him is because he's from Watford. Right. All right. Um, what's that? What's that? Explain that to us. Because okay. you know most of us is from America. Okay, so Watford is a suburb um to London and the brothers over there, they have a I don't know, man, they've just got a uh uh they've just got a, a history of being how can I say it, kind of culturally out of place, like uh, weird a, as we would say weirdos. No, nah, they're kind of like um I wouldn't say weird. It's like they're not in touch with the with 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 um the rest of urban uh or mainstream black. They're more, okay. So Watford is a predominantly um white suburb. So basically, they adopt the traits of you know the the local surroundings. So for example, AJ's from Watford, right? And and they tend to they tend to speak a little bit more prim and proper. And a, a bit more posh, and you know that kind of thing. Um, and they just—they're just culturally out of touch with the uh, with with um, mainstream uh, uh, black society over here. They're kind of like. Um, let me just let me just shout out Miss Box, and she said peace, Act Reacher, and then she said peace to uh, the chat. All right, go ahead. No problem. No problem. 
Um, and yeah, that's how they are. That's how they move anyway. So a lot of us are kind of like, look at these boys here, man. Who are these guys? Like, they, don't, they don't represent us, like you know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I, who, who um, do you favor though? Who did you yeah. did you watch the first fight? Yeah, I was just going to get on to that. Yeah, I, 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 I have no interest in this fight, but my cousin phoned me up yesterday and said, yo, did you see the weigh-in? And he's a hardcore boxing guy as well. I was like, yo, cuz, are you mad? What are you telling me about this KSI thing? That It's a joke thing. It's a circus act. You know, these guys, it's like, yo, but cuz, they, they're, gen- they're doing numbers. And I was like, listen, cuz, let me tell you something, right? Boxing doesn't sell. The sport of boxing has never sold. All right, nobody buy the only people that buy boxing is hardcore boxing fans, and we're a very small number of people. The only reason why this is selling is because they both got audiences, and that's just it. If you, you in order to anyone that's ever done any big numbers in boxing has done so because they built up a profile outside of boxing. Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, all of that, they've all got profiles outside of boxing. They've managed to capture the imagination of mainstream society. That's how it is. It's, that's how these guys can come in from nowhere and generate numbers. Anyway, I watched the first fight. Um, I don't like KSI, his fighting style. Um, I mean, it was an amateur fight, and he. One, you still there? Yeah, what happened to one of the ones, man? He just stopped talking. Nah, I just, I don't know if he got in a bad spot. You still there? Oh, okay. Damn, Chip. Dag, man. I ain't going front. You was kind of was giving me the visual, you know what I mean? Because I didn't know, like, none, like, I didn't really take into account where he was from and stuff like that. Uh, he'll, I guess he'll pop back in, man. But, but we don't, but we don't know that because we're not over there. I can't, I, you know. Nah, you're right. I didn't know that. You know, I ain't gonna lie. Like he was from the same area as AJ. I didn't know that until he, until one of the ones just said that. Dang, they both, both, him and five hundred three uh, dropped. I don't know what's going. On. I got this shit right by my router too. Shouldn't be no problems. It ain't your, it ain't on your end of the stadium. Cause I just got kicked out too, and I'm actually in the house. And then I just got a phone call. You probably can't hear me, huh? No, nah, I heard you. Yeah, I heard, you. I heard you. I, I, I hear you. You Hello? hear me? You hear me? Oh, wow. Hey, man. Oh, 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 my soldiers, man. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move on to 135 real quick. I'm going to move on to 135. So uh, the big talk this week was about uh, Tank Davis was uh yeah. tank Dave? yeah i hear you uh, um, i got a phone call man right in the middle of me talking it's, it's cool bro yeah he said uh renee boxing said uh yeah dude was speaking gen yeah because uh one of the ones is from that area so he kind of gave me a little bit more than you know even they gave me through the uh through the uh videos or whatever so uh and I appreciate him. You know, if he come back, I'll let him uh, chime on it real quick. You know what I mean? Just who we think possibly could win. You know what I mean? I know that man is scientist too when it comes to boxing. So break it down. He got to break it down and lay it like a battle rapper. Oh, there you go. Oh, damn. Yeah, one. Yeah, try to try to try try to break it down to the people. And they said you was dropping gems in the chat too, man. Um, try to uh, oh, okay. My break bad. down, yeah, yeah. You use, um, yeah, try to uh, break down like your reasons why you think sure this person got the edge or 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 that person or however, just real no. quick because I want to move on to 135. Okay, no problem. I, I, I'm gonna break it down and just keep it, um, give you the bullet points. Basically, I watched the first, I'm not sure where I, I cut off, I didn't realize I um, my, my connection cut out, but basically, I saw the first fight. Um, uh, I thought KSI lost. Um, you know, I'm always gonna root for the brother, but I, I, I really don't oh, care about. Oh, you, oh, you were okay. Sorry, 
he, yeah, I, I thought I thought he lost. I'm always going to root for the brother, but I think on this occasion, I think Logan Paul is going to destroy this guy. Um, Logan Paul, he looks like a damn cruiserweight. He's huge. He's 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 cut up. Um, he, he he's probably going to come in a, a heavyweight. Um, KSI looks like a middleweight, and unless KSI is going to approach this fight with supreme skills, and you know he 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 tends to gravitate towards the um, the flash and finesse of this Mayweather style. You know, the Mayweather style is a difficult style to to master. It takes years of training and muscle memory to do that. But anyway, unless he's gonna um uh um gas um wait for uh, Logan Paul to potentially gas out, and then he's gonna come in in the later rounds and, and drop some precision shots and get Logan Paul out of there. I, I think Logan Paul, he's um his size advantage is gonna be a big problem for KSI. Um. I, I don't have an investor. I, I don't care about KSI, and I don't like Logan Paul either. Um, it will just be interesting. We don't have a lot of um, reference markers to say, okay, I've watched 16, 16 fights of this guy. This is what he's capable of doing, um, and this is what's going to go down. This is really and truly a spectator's fight. Um, it, it's there to generate the hype from the fans. They've both got big fan bases, and it's one of those fights that we're not going to know what's going to happen until it actually goes down. No one can say anything because these guys haven't got no history, no record of fighting. We can only go off of the optics. And Logan Paul is huge. And I think um, the American is going to, um, he's going to murk this guy. I think he's going to murk him. Uh-oh, and, he said murk. I hear that in a minute. He said go murk him. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. And then, <laughs> and then the last thing I'll say on this um, fiasco, and then okay. we can move on, um, is uh, Logan Paul also outwitted and outsmarted him at the press conference, you know, KSI tried to, so he tried to drop some boxing knowledge and all this nonsense. And Logan, Logan Paul came back and said, okay, well, you think you know about boxing? Um, I'm, I'm pretty good at maths. And, you know, he, he managed to divert it and he kind of won the psychological battle in the, um, in the press. Was it the press conference? Well, the way in or the press conference, whatever it was, I watched last night. And uh, yeah, that, it that probably content. was, probably was the way in, probably was the way in. Um, yeah, man. Oh, uh, ah, good breakdown, bro. Uh, Denise Ward said, uh, one of them ones, thanks for the info. Um, uh, and I see you hustling slim in the chat. You, you funny. Uh, I see what you said. Um, yeah, man. So now let's move on to the uh, 20, 135 division real quick. So, uh, my thing is, I kind of want to talk about, uh, my dream matchup uh, with Devin Haney and uh, Tank Davis. Now, there's some people that are opposed uh, to this fight uh, happening. You know what I mean? Not not really not too many people, but I know some people that say that they'd rather see the Lomachenko fight first. There's some people that say, she why can't he get it on with Tio Fimo? One of my boys said that to me uh, yesterday in my buildings. He was like, yo, uh, you know what I'm saying? Why he can't get it on with Tio Fimo? You know what I mean? And, and this is that in the third. I was like, well, Tio Fimo got to worry about Richard Comey first. And then we he got to actually get the title. And then we'll, we, we could talk more about him. So um, me personally, I really just want to talk about uh, Tank and uh, Devin Haney and the possibility of that matchup. And I, the f first person I really want to touch on is 503. Are you there, brother? Yes, sir, Ski. Uh, I, yeah, I, def I definitely want you to talk about this first, man. Uh, what do you think about a potential matchup with uh, Tank and Devin? I mean, this is the this is gonna be one of this that fight right there is gonna go down as one of the greatest fights in history. You know what I'm saying? It probably be the fight of the century. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people got they got their mind made. Wow! Up that you said fight of the century? That's big. That's big. Uh, Dang, go, yeah, go ahead, man. Cool. Yeah, man. Um, like I said, man, this fight can go down. It, it needs to go down in the, in the, in, the, in the biggest and brightest stages of, of boxing, boxing. Uh, you know, 
the, the, the main mecca, the hub of boxing, man, where all the big fights happen at, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's either Vegas or New York. Um, me personally, I think I think it should be in Vegas because uh that, that that that's that's where the crime scene was at. You know what I'm saying? I think the 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 story, the storyline for this fight, man, the the history tank and Devin have with one another, the uh the stories we didn't heard, man. Um both of these guys are polarizing black fighters. I think I think Tank Davis is a little bit more popular than Devin Haney right now. His fan base is a little bit more solid, but Devin Haney is on the rise. He's the champion. You know what I'm saying? Tank was the champ at 130. He's the champ at 135. He's number one in the WBC rankings. Um, and I think I think this fight needs to happen now than later. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and truth be told, man, I kind of think that Lomachenko, he really want all these young guys to fight, to beat up on each other, and he get the leftovers. You know what I'm saying? So... I think uh, I think my man's uh, Tank and Devin Haney should fight each other next, man. I think that's the best fight that can happen right now at 135. If now one of these guys don't move up and fight Lomachenko, uh, I don't I don't see Lomachenko fighting him right now. I think Lomachenko he might end up fighting um, the winner of Tiafimo Lopez, Richard Comey. So. Uh, yeah, man, I definitely want to see the fight, man. You you know how I feel about this fight act. That's why you came to me first, bro. Cause I I went on a, a rant yesterday on my channel with, with all fella. This nigga talking about he rather see Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. What? Get out of here, bro. Nobody don't want to see no fucking Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney. I mean, that would be a good fight. You but said that five oh three. All fella, all fella said. <laughs> I going to catch up with you, man. Yeah, all fella said he'd rather see uh, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia, which is a good fight. But if I had my choice, I would pick Tank Davis over Ryan. I mean, Tank Davis over Devin Haney over any fight at 135, and this including Lomachenko. These guys need to fight, bro. I'm tired of the back and forth. I'm tired of all the spawn stories we didn't hear. I'm tired of Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby. Uh, Trio Bill feel like his son is the best. I'm j- I'm just tired of all the talking, man. I, I want to see these dudes fight, and and it needs to happen before Devin Haney moves up to 140, bro. And that's all I got on it, man. Okay, okay, Mac. Yeah. Well, let me get in the chat, and Mac, get ready to um. So uh Renee Boxing said uh Haney Tank would be a blowout, but uh I really want to see Haney school Ryan first, man. Uh and then he said, I think it's not fair for prospect uh protecting Ryan. That boy need to step up, man. Uh and then Lala D said, I think I got tank in that fight. If you say so, La La D, would you bet? Would you bet on that? (laughs) (sighs) Would you bet on that? Look, man, don't be protecting the little yellow brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just keeping it real, man. Would he? Did y'all hear about that doghouse sparring session? You know, the second time? Mm. I heard Tank got it the first time. I heard about it. Yeah, I heard. uh, And a lot, a lot of people that was there said Tank. Yo, Jay Lee, I love cool with both of them. Jay Lee, really? I love said himself. He said, I got no reason to pick. He said, I'm just as cool with Tank as I am with Devin. And I got to be honest, Devin got that. He said it was like 300 people there that time in the Mayweather gym. That that day, for some reason, it was lit. You yeah, because Devin, because Devin's dad told his boy to, to post it on the Instagram and tell everybody to come up there. You got to go watch it. And for anybody who wants to know, I don't know what the hell just happened. Is that mine? Nah. A 503. I think it might be 503. This stream yard is so inconsistent. I, I know, man. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, I, I'm gonna say this. Let me say this. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, man. If I'm 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 a Tank fan and I'm a Devin fan. Can y'all hear me? I can hear you now. You're welcome yeah, back, Jim. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's tripping over here. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead, stay ready. Okay, I was going to say I'm a Devin Haney fan and I'm a Tank fan. I was a Tank fan first. Um, remember, I used to be I used to be hard on Devin. 
I used to I used to want to see him do get a step up fight. He finally got step up fights, and he did. He he beat the shit out of his step up fights worse than he did the other ones. You know, one of the big things I had a problem with Devin was how he used to admire his work, like Act mentioned earlier. But to be honest with you, Devin became a way better fighter than he was than he was when he came out. Tank, I can't say you got better, but you haven't regressed. You you actually stayed the same. I haven't seen what you would look like against a better fighter. The best fight I've seen you have was against Pendraza. Don't get it wrong. This Guillermo Rigondeaux fight is a step up fight. Everybody that's saying Guillermo Rigondeaux is an old man that's fine and dandy. But y'all um, know this is what I do. Yeah, that's what I said, Gamboa. Now you said Rigondeaux. Yeah, oh, Rigondeaux. my bad. <laughs> my bad. But Gamboa, Gamboa might be old, but Gamboa is a hell of a fighter. And this, and I don't give a damn how old Gamboa is. Gamboa is going to give Tank problems. But I still expect Tank to go in here and knock him out. This is going to, this is going to be a testament to see how Tank actually does with a boxer. You know what I mean? They can, they can move. They've got good footwork. And I'm not going to say this is going to be the fight that tells me if he beat Devin. Because as of right now, I got Devin. Only as of right now. But that don't mean it can't change tomorrow. Because to be honest with you, it's even to me right now. Sparring don't mean shit to me. Nah, you right. You right. You definitely right. Uh, sparring isn't always uh, the conclusion, and uh, you're right. It is a 50-50 fight. Um, let me try to get in the chat, fellas. Of course, it would be a good fight, bro. I'm tired of hearing Ryan showboat so much. We would love to see Haney school. Ryan, him. Ryan can't fuck with none of these guys. And then uh, Lala D on the bet, she said, yes, I bet $50 on that fight. Dang, I don't have to take no money from you, Lala D. I don't want to have to. Yeah, I mean, I, I look, man, if you ask me, you know what? I'm going to let one of them ones cook. Uh, one of them ones, you there? Yeah. How you feel oh, about that? To go now? Okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, go man, ahead. this is a beautiful, this, 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 this is a beautiful matchup, man. Oh, man, where do I start with this one? I, want, I need to condense it down so I don't be, you know, going on and on. Um... Oh, Tank Davis, you know, I share the frustration of many people, you know, with regards to him taking the right fights that we want to see him in. You know, he's fighting all these Mexicans and stuff. People um, have got the conspiracy theories saying that he's following the Fo Floyd Mayweather blueprint. Dang, what it was? You can't, you need to go home, bro. God, leave. You steady dropping in and out, man. You dropping out like you got a cricket over there, Wayne. What's going on? All right, you, you, you back. You back. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what, what's happening. But all right. Um, so, yeah, Tank, we, we all want to see him step up. You know, we've been asking for this for a long time. Um, Devin Haney, oh, man, that is such a – the dynamic in this fight is just uh, – this is what boxing is about. When you're not too sure what the outcome's going to be because you know Tank has power. Tank is also quick. I urge everybody to go back and watch Tank's last fight. Yeah, because he that was his fight where he was coming off of a, 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 a long layoff. And then also there was a video circulating um, with Tank's belly all the way out there, man. Quay out there. Quay out there, right? And um, so there was a lot of questions. And if you watch the fight, Tank... Bro, he, Tank's speed was phenomenal. That boy is quick. Um, it, you know what? Sometimes when you get presented matchups, you don't always need to have the answer. And this is the beauty of watching the sweet science and just watching a great boxing bout. You know, it's kind of like the Regis and Joss Taylor. Nobody was too, too certain on what the outcome was going to be. But I think it's one of them. Now, Ah, man, if you're going to twist my arm, I'm going to lean towards Haney because, you know, Haney has shown us that he can he can box very well. Um, Haney is just elevated. He's just constantly elevating. Every time he fights, he looks like he's, he's getting better. Unlike, um, uh, uh, for example, Tiafimo Lopez, you know, he, he kind of looked like he went backwards. Haney... Is on the uh is on the up, you know. 
Um, but we've got no reference points. These guys haven't got no flagship fights that we can say, oh, well, you know, Tank did this or Haney did this, you know? So, and this is why I'm saying that it's just going to be a fight that we can enjoy and you don't always need to have the stress and pressure of trying to predict what, what the outcome is going to be. And the last thing I will say is um, uh, Tank and Gamboa, Yuriokis uh, Gamboa, um, a Cuban, man, you can take the Cuban out of Cuba, but you can't take that Cuban boxing out of the Cuban. Yuriokis Gamboa is about 38 now, and he's still got that, that Cuban DNA. He's still got the Cuban muscle memory and all of that. Now, I think uh, Tank could possibly stop Gamboa. Gamboa has got terrible balance. He's always had terrible balance. Man, just watch um, Terence Crawford versus Gamboa. He was dropping all over the place, tripping over his own damn feet. You know what I mean? And he, Gamboa gets reckless. When he's in trouble and he's under pressure, he can get reckless. And that's the time where Tank can just check hook him and, you know, get Gamboa all the way out there, maybe even knock him out of the, out of the ring or something, you know? But that, that name, Gamboa, is going to be a good name on Tank's resume. But it's kind of a false flag because it's like, we know Gamba was old, all right? He had a good, his last performance was good, but Gamba was past it, man. He's never been the same since Crawford, you know? So it's going to be a good, a good name on his resume, but it is kind of a cherry pick. Let's, 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 um, let's not get it confused. Then the very, very last thing I'll say is, man, uh, this, this is great, man. Catching up with the usual suspects again. This is a great build and the odd fellow. It's a shame you can't be on the panel, my brother, but, Yo, this Ryan Garcia thing, I'm going to have to go back and listen to um, 503 stream and see where you're coming from, man, because Ryan Garcia is not on these guys' level, man. I don't know. You know, it, Tank, I think Tank stops him. Haney. Ryan, Ryan Garcia ain't on now, buddy, level. Not yeah, man. Like, Ryan Garcia, man. I mean, he has improved, but he's not ready, man. He's not ready. And uh, that that's, that's all I'm going to say on that. All right. Let me... Uh, Hustle Slim said, Devin said he's having troublemaker in year 135. Don't get big at fights. Uh, 35, he's going up 40. I think Tank is too short for 140 if it happens. Um, I go for, I think that it didn't know what he might in that. I think Haney in December 2020. And then Lala D said, okay, $200 the max. Act. I got 200 on Tank. Okay, that's cool. Uh, uh, be uh, right back, fam. Gotta pick up my dogs from the doggy barbershop. Oh, shoot, excuse me. And then, uh, Hustle Slim said, I don't want Tank and Devin to fight until one of them fight Loma. <sighs> Only one that's looking like they get Loma. You heard, you just heard, uh, 503 put it in the pot like gumbo for you. He gonna fight Teofimo, the winner Teofimo and Richard Coleman, if he even do that. You know, but me personally, I'm gonna give my spill on it and I ain't gonna stay on it too long. Um Devin Haney to me got great distance control. I think that alone, that distance control is trouble for Tank. If you pay attention to Tank's last part with uh Ricardo Nunez, the Panamanian, I ain't gonna lie, yo. I still can't get over that first round, yo. Tank, yo, if 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 Ricardo Nunez didn't lose focus, I would have loved to see if he would have been able to, like, give Tank, because he looked like he was, go back and watch that fight. He took his focus off and was smiling and did, you know, Tank on the inside, his, all he got to be is a six-inch punch, and it's a wrap. He really does got explosive power like that. And he wasn't even that far away, and he just caught him, and that's because he took his focus off. But in that first round, I was like, damn, this nigga actually kind of boxing good. He looking like he wanted to box that midget. You know what I'm saying? So imagine somebody that could deal with the punches, you know, like a Devin Haney. Because obviously they was doing doghouse fights. So obviously Devin Haney, I'm just saying, even though sparring is different, I agree with Matt. But I'm just saying, obviously he dealt with his power, you know, okay. But I, I still got to see it in eight ounce gloves. But uh, would Tank even be able to touch Devin Haney? Haney and Shakur Stevens, two dudes that really understand distance control and distance deception to me. They really got that down locked. So, uh, 
You know, I mean, good luck, Tank. Yeah, you know. I, mean? I, I want to add on to what you were saying, bro. Devin Haney has never faced a guy that can fight on the inside like a gorilla and like the big ape that Tank is, okay? But on the same token, Tank has never faced a guy with a one-two combination like Devin Haney, a jab like Devin Haney, and a guy that can box like Devin Haney. And I think Devin Haney has a little bit better defense. He I like I like his upper body movement. You know what I'm saying? Bro, bro be moving up and down. You know what I'm saying? And I think if he keeps Tank on the end of that jab, um, it can be a long night for Tank. You know what I'm saying? But if he come in the inside and make it a phone booth fight, you know what I'm saying? Like how AJ did with Andy Ruiz. <laughs> you see, you seen what happened to AJ. You know what I'm saying? And and that's how it can go. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's how I think it's gonna go. But we shall see, man. I, I'm look and it in both of these fights. With with uh Devin Haney and Tank Man, I'm just looking um to see who gets hit a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? But I think these guys need to fight sooner than later, bro. But but go ahead, stay ready. No, nah, it's gonna happen, and I think it is gonna be a great fight. But I'm gonna tell you like this: I do believe somebody is gonna get knocked out that fight. And I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna be 100 honest with you: Tank Chin ain't been tested. I don't think so either. I've seen him hit a few times in his early fights, but not by nobody with no... Huh? Yeah. Hey, man, I, I agree with everything 503 was saying, man. Oh, he's just breaking up. No, no, no. You was good. I, I thought no, you I was... I agree. <laughs> I agree with everything. To, uh, now you're breaking up. I've uh, seen Tank in there with someone like, hey, you didn't like Tank. And we, we don't, you, you don't need to work hard with this one. We just don't know. So it's just one of those fights that you're not going to know until you see it because there's no references, no reference markers. You know, both of these um, guys have got... Only thing we got is, is, is two sparring sessions from different right. years. Right. That's all we got. And Let me get in this both... chat real quick and then I'll... Okay. Oh, my fault. Go ahead, go ahead. No, nah, go ahead. Go finish. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh no, nah, I read that. He said I don't want Tank to fight Devin. Oh no, nah, you I read that. Sorry. Uh does Haney walk through Pedraza? Yeah, I think so. Maybe even stop him. Uh Omega Red says salute fam. And then uh Hustle Slim said, ah fella. Um I kinda I want I, I wanna move off this topic. If y'all don't mind, we're going to go touch on Jamal Heron and Lamont Roach Jr. Uh, I'm going to come to Mac first on this one. You there? What you think about this fight? Yeah, which fight? Uh, uh, Jamal Heron and Lamont Roach Jr. Uh, I honestly, I don't know. Um. I, I I lean more towards Lamont Roach. Not saying that uh Jamal Heron ain't good. Jamal Heron is a beast. But he has it seemed like when he when he fights, he, he don't know when to attack. Like he, he just sit there and does the same thing, catch and shoot, catch and shoot. And it's like I, I want to see more from him. Uh and I know when he going here with Lamont Roach, he actually don't have to have his head on the floor because Lamont Roach ain't gonna play with him. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm leaning more towards Lamont Roach, but it's a 50-50 fight. It, it, you know, it's... hello. Nah, I heard you. I I didn't know if you was done. I didn't know if you was done. Yeah, y'all just quiet. He was quiet as hell. So. <laughs> Uh, let me come to uh, uh, one of them. Uh, one of them ones. Then I'm gonna go to five hundred three last. One of them ones. Do you, do you uh, know these brothers? And uh, this match is uh, tonight, uh, six thirty my time. It start. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> I heard of them. I don't know them. I've got no references. I've not. I've not seen them fight. I'll be um, honest with you. I've not seen them fight. Um, I've seen them name. Um, on the bill, so um, this this will pretty much be my first time watching them. Okay, okay, well, that's fair. At least she was honest. I respect it. 
503, get ready. I'm going to... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I see what you wrote, the 200. Damn, you got money like that. And then uh, the odd fella said, true, I hear that, Hustler Slim. And then Lala D said, uh, 200. One, no act got money like them because I'm going to win. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, I mean, that's what you think. But, um... 503, you there, brother? Yeah, 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 I'm here, bro. I know you got a little bit to say about this. That's why I came to you last. Okay, what you talking about? Hearing uh, it, yeah, Jamal Rose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Um, Shouts out to Jamal uh, Hearing, man. Long Island, New York, man. I like Jamal Hearing. Uh, Lamar Rose, you know what I'm saying? DC, DMV, you know what I'm saying? Um. We watched this fight last time on the zone, man. I forgot what fight he was on. It could have been the AJ fight, AJ Card, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and he he looked suspect, man. So um hearing it came in, in his last fight with E2, and you know, he, he dominated E2 for the most part, you know what I'm saying? And I I like Jamal hearing, man. He trained up that with a uh, in, in, in Colorado with, with Team Crawford and Chance Crawford now, man, and you know, he he, he like he he turned it into a dog, man. He been he been game, but now I think bro a certified dog. I think the motivation of Terrence Crawford, man. I seen Terrence Crawford uh chant chanting them on yesterday. He's talking about and still and still, you know, that's just a different type of feeling. You know what I'm saying? So. I, I think I think Jamal Heron gonna pull it out, man. I'm gonna be uh channel flipping. Like I said, I'll probably be watching one fight on the on the TV, then the laptop, then the phone. So <laughs> uh I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to see Jamal Heron um defend his title, you know what I'm saying? Um but the the main thing I like about Jamal Heron, bro, is that he's trying to unify the division. You know what I'm saying? He he calling I'm a Miguel Burchick, and it's looking like, you know, he don't want that smoke, man. So Hopefully, uh, I know Miguel Burchett just won against Jason Sosa, if I'm not mistaken. And um, so, if if Jamal Heron win tonight, man, hopefully we can get him and Burchett. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and a fight in 2020, man, unification at 130. You know, and we got we, we got my man Tevin Former and uh, JoJo Diaz in January. I'm, I'm hearing, man. So, we that's all I got, man. All right, I'm gonna I'm touch on it. Um, I think me and uh 503 with all our picks tonight. I mean, yeah, 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 we pick basically the same. It's it's crazy because he said he got KSI slightly. I, I kind of got, no, hell no, I don't. Oh, you did? You did? Oh, you got Paul. You got Paul. Okay. I'm not picking JoJo. What's the pick? JJ, whatever his name is. Hell no. Nah. I did it. Digit. 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 You gotta well, say it the UK. I'm gonna say, it. yeah, go ahead. Digit. Yeah, right. I, I, I okay, let, 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 let's, let's do this then. This this little bullshit fight. Who who's got who on this fight? I I keep it real. I got I want Logan Paul to win, but you know what? Like I said, it's hard because it's a different. Nah, you just seen him gas out, bro, and you think he gonna do that shit again, bro? He not gonna gas out, bro. <laughs> You think Shannon Briggs gave him the secret ingredient or something? What? You what? Bro, man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck that. We got to talk about that, bro. I ain't even going to lie. Yeah, you I see it. Crazy, man. You New York <laughs> is crazy, bro. This nigga Shannon Briggs got that slapping nigga, man. He slapping. Stay ready. You seen that, bro? Thanks, B. They yeah. said New York people is crazy. Yeah, I see that. I they see said that. New York people is crazy. He was pushing all type of fans, and his I son got in it. His son got in it. He was in the way. Yeah. Man, oh, bro, man. shout out to that dude, man. Oh man, that, that, that was, that was classic. Shout out to Briggs from Brownsville. Shout man. out to my Brooklyn niggas. I always can count on y'all to make a scene, man. Man, shout out, shout out to for real. Hey, bro. I, I I think I think Logan is coming with a whole another different type of energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm picking. You know him. what? That could be the difference, though. I hate to say it. That could be the difference. But you know what? Let me finish my thing. I'm sorry for breaking that up. Let me finish my thing on Lamont Roach and, and Jamal Heron. I, I favor uh, Jamal Heron in this fight. 
I got I got I got Jamal Heron in this fight. I think he did a good job against E2, who I always said I would have loved to have for it. Uh that that same game plan that he implemented was, was beautiful. Uh he was he was using the jab well. It took I actually caught that fight late. You know, what I mean, maybe like a month after. And let me shout out to uh Kurt, Kurt Sugar. You know what I mean? And uh our fella said, put some respect on Shannon Briggs' name. You already know. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I got him. Let's and, uh, go, champ. Yeah, facts. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think I think I think I could see Jamal here winning a, a a split decision victory over Lamont Roach Jr. I didn't think Lamont Roach Jr. in that last fight, like 503 said, I didn't think he even won. His nose was bleeding and all of that. He looked tired, but I don't know. I think he was fighting a Mexican guy, man. He was. Um, he was, and that Mexican. Dude put the beats on him. I right. was kind of surprised because I was always hearing about Lamont Roach Jr. You know what I mean? And, and I don't know. I just don't think that he's that good. Now, if he comes and, you know, shows me something tonight, uh, shout out to Derek Bailey. I see you, Derek Bailey. Appreciate you, brother. You know, if he shows me something tonight, I, I know me. I have no problem admitting that I was wrong. I'll be right on 503's uh, shit tonight. You know what I mean? You're going live tonight, right? 503. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. Ski. Yeah, so I will be on there tonight. Um, you know, you know, saying what I say, but um, I, I honestly I just don't I don't see Lamont Rose Jr. getting this uh victory. It's too much, uh I just feel like it's too much that went into uh the source of uh Jamal Heron with Bo Mac and Bud is too much knowledge on that end. So uh, yeah, I, I I got I got like I said, Jamal here in split decision. We'll talk about it tonight after it's all said and done. So 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 tell me this: why 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 you pick Jamal? Why do you guys pick Jamal here over Lamar Roach? Because because he looked at uh, me personally. A uh, couple of fights to me, he looked suspect. Like I said, that fight against the Mexican, that five hundred three and me is uh, bringing up. He looked it real bad, and I actually remember talking to. Five you know what I mean about you know what I mean when that fight happened you know what I mean so uh yeah I didn't his nose was bleeding and they gave him the victory I'm like yo bro like I didn't think that he won that I just felt like the Mexican dude really outpointed him volume of punching uh sure aggression uh was it neat you know that that's just how I felt about it and then if I was to compare that opponent opposed to E2 I mean, I got to be honest. E2 was a way better opponent than that Mexican guy was. Way better. Uh, but was E2 better than Ladarius Miller? Yeah, I'll say E2 is, is slightly better, yeah. Okay, well, Ladarius Miller knocked him out. Knocked That's what up. I'm saying. I mean, was it? No, 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 no. He didn't I'm sorry. Ladarius Miller. No, you, no, no, no. You going with Lamar Ladarius, Rush, bro? Yeah, I'm going with Lamont Roach. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, Ethan was undefeated. Lamar, uh, right. No, I mean, Ladarius Miller beat Jamal Heron. Unanimous decision. Is that that guy from the from the um, uh, Mayweather stable? I think so. Oh, you're talking about um. What's his name? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Memphis Miller, whatever they call him. Yeah, Me Memphis Miller. Yeah, yeah, that's that how you gotta right. say it. Yeah, then I remember. Yeah, that's how mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I mean, well, I, I mean, fight, man. I mean, like I said, styles. You know, styles make fights. I just you, you right, you right. That's why I say that. I, I, I'm I, 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 I don't think Darius Miller could beat um E two though. I think E2 hit too hard. That's one thing E2 did have. E2 had power. Yeah, man, Jamal, I mean, that, that's what I'm saying, bro. He, he, man, Jamal Heron took some losses. That's another thing why I like about dude. He took some bad losses. He got he lost to Memphis Miller, and he lost to uh, Every Chinko, right? Every You know what I'm Who? saying? No, nah, not Devin Chinko. Uh, what's that I was going to say, yeah, yeah that's Devin Chinko would have killed that dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think nah, he's going he lost the shuffle code, man. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, 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 I, I knew it was one thing. I why he was still on the PBC, right? Yeah, you know, right? Around yeah. that time. Okay. Yeah, I remember. I remember. It's all coming back to me now. But um, yeah, man. Um, but I'm, 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 it's, I eat my I oh, eat my ahead. crow. I say I eat my crow if he loses, but I do not think Lamont Roach is gonna lose this fight. Who, okay. Who's the guy that fought? I respect it. Last. Uh, hearing. He, oh, is that, is that hearing? Yeah, that hearing won the belt. Yeah. Oh, Heron okay, won, okay. I didn't realize that was him. Yeah, he looks nice. I, I still don't know much that, um, enough about him though to really kind of jump on the build. But yeah, him, remember that I movie, seen... The Marine? <laughs> oh, <was laughs> with that John him? Cena. Now I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just saying that movie, The Marine, because he was a Marine. Uh, Jamal here. Oh, if you, I if know you remember he, his story, Jamal yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marine. I remember seeing an advert, and yeah, and the, uh, yeah, I know who he is now. I know who he is. I is a is is a month rope steel the WBO uh what? super featherweight. Nah, he he fighting for he the mandatory to fight. But I, I thought he was. <laughs> He's not the champion. Jamal Heron is the champion yeah, because he beat E2. Right. You don't you worry about right. 130s. You ain't got a question when it comes to that. Yeah, y'all already know. Y'all know I, 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 I watch That's that. why I asked you. That's why I asked you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that that nigga, yeah. What's the name? B-E2. And E2 beat my boy, who I used to spar with, uh, Chris, yeah, you know I mean, my nigga Chris Diaz, he was a up and coming knockout artist at one thirty. He knocked out my boy Pee Wee from uh 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 what's the name's hood? Uh, what's my boy name? Uh uh, uh Body Snatcher hood. You know what I'm saying? My boy, they call him Pee Wee Cruz. You know what I'm saying? He he knocked him out. So you know what I'm saying? It, like I said, E two E two wasn't whack. That's what I'm saying. I'm to me that was a good step up fight for him. He gained the title off of it. You know what I mean? He beat he beat E2 single hand, outboxed the shit out of it. I think that he could do the same thing with Lamont Roach. Lamont Roach look, I thought Lamont Roach was uh, taller. I'm not gonna say he boxed the shit out of E2. He he just <laughs> all he did was one two E2 all night. That's all he did. He boxed That's that midget. That's it, man. You know, box that midget. You know, you know my slogan. Oh, um, but let me touch on it. was this last topic. Um, I wanted to touch on. I'm uh, mad. Five hundred three. You know, what I mean, he he fell out. He probably had to do something. Um, there is a rumor circulating that shout out to Inoue. That Inoue and Rigandale is trying to work on something. Rigandale's gonna go down a weight class to um, fight uh, uh, Nayua Inoue. Yeah, I finally learned how to say his name. Yeah, and what? His whole name. So, what you think about that, uh, Matt? You no, know, I don't give a shit about it, man. I know you don't. <laughs> but I'm saying, what do you? I know you, but but do you care about rigging down? Yeah, he oh, I don't give do that. Don't nobody want to fight him. He he he's going past his prime. Like I do like rigging down. I do, but he's getting to where he's he's getting past his prime now. So if he go down there and fight a new way, and a new way starts him, it ain't gonna it's gonna make a new way look good. And then if he go down there and starts a new way, it ain't gonna make him look good. He's at that point in his career. Well, we knew he could do it. He was the bigger fighter. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I, it's not a fight, you know. I'm aesthetic looking, for, looking forward to it. Uh, Me yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I just want to see my Cuban brother in there to get, get some money. You know what I'm saying? I want my Cuban brother to get yeah. some money. I mean, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the fight. Go ahead. Go ahead, one of them ones. I don't think we're keeping brother getting. <laughs> I don't think we got to worry about our Cuban brother uh, got my own. You know what? I don't want to see the fight. I don't want to see that fight. I mean, my brother Rigo... You think he should stay at his weight class that he's at? No, I think he should retire, man. I think he's Oh, done wow. Thank you. Thank wow. you. I think he's done that here, man. And you wow. Get, uh, uh, act. You know, you know me, man. Like, I ride for my Cubans, but Rico's done out here, man. Did you see his last performance? Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah. I finally had caught that. Yeah. I, I, I was disgusted. I was disgusted. I said, what the fuck is this shit? Sorry for the cursing, but yo, that's how I felt. I said, what? And then he, in the post fight, he's talking about, I waited to show everyone that I can get beat up. As a, Are you fucking stupid? You've just taken more shots in one fight than your whole career. You've just blown your stats to pieces. Like, what was the point in that? You got pieced up for nothing. You nearly got stopped. rigo has got a, a glass jaw as it is. Uh, albeit that he, he comes back like a team. You know what I mean? And, and the lights go out in the arena. You just see some weird ass Japanese sim uh, symbol. And then before you know it, You good one of them ones? Yo, set the sound frying eggs. Now I said you good one of them ones. It sound like somebody uh frying eggs or something. Or about to... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at you though. I ain't mad, whoever. Yeah, I be about to whip it up. I ain't mad at you. Oh. <laughs> good one. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, you know. Is it me? That's not, no, is that's that, me that's in the trash. Oh, you throw it out. I can hear that. That's back, man. <laughs> that's me messing with this trash. Yeah, man. It does sound like you fried eggs. But, but, but yeah, um, I, I, I don't want to see Because if, if he beats... <laughs> Go ahead, man. But if he beats... Um, if he beats a movie... Yeah. Mag, try to go on mute. I like I can't. Oh, I eight years old. What's he? In... Okay. Renee Boxer said it sounded like potato chip bag. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, y'all retarded. Yeah, yeah but, but Max over. Max. Max over there chefing it up like a professional star. <laughs> Big up my brother back, man. For real. No, I was actually taking the trash out. My bad. <laughs> Well, but I am for the cook, though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're from Texas. We know you can cook, man. You kill him. <laughs> I understand. He's so a, you ain't got Instagram. You need um, to get an Instagram, too. Yeah, yeah. Mac, Mac, Mac <laughs> made some fried chicken sandwiches. I was ready to go to Texas, bro. No, that was fish. Think, yeah, yeah. I'll be sorry, sorry, sorry. Fish, 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 fish. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I can imagine that, that that probably tasted, probably looked tasty Shoot. as hell. That boy, that boy had what? the fucking sandwich rolls. That nigga had the heroes. See, in New York. No, no, no. Them was, them was Italian. Oh, those was Italian? That was, okay. That, yeah, okay, that was I'm Italian sorry, bread. I'm sorry, Mac. Excuse me, champ. Excuse hey, you got to get it right, man. You got to get it right. I don't eat hoagies. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot. Yeah, you're vegan and all that. Yeah, um... Yeah, if he goes down there and beats a newie, it's kind of like, well, yeah, all right, you beat a newie. Like, he's a smaller guy. With... But, um, but what I, if I a new way wins? Should retire, bro. I think he should retire. I think he goes down out here. You know, his career's been messed up like a lot of um, our Cuban brothers. You know, they get they get shafted. Bob Aaron's done him over. Yeah. A lot of people have messed up his career, man. He could have really um, amounted to something. I still... Um, stand on my stunt. I think he threw that lumber check. Anyway, let me not even go down. <laughs> but Rico's just done, man. And I think I don't know what he's trying to pr uh, pr prove. He, he's got nothing else really to prove. We know he's a two time Olympic gold medalist. We know he's a, a grandmaster boxer and all that. Um, he's never going to appeal to mainstream boxing fans. He's never even going to. There's a little court boxing like 
Good. You know, you got where's the brother Odd Is he still there? I bet he's still in the chat. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? He's still there. Yeah, he, yeah, he's there. He's, he's still talking. Him, you know? He said gift wrapping. Uh oh, uh, panties, nigga. He said some shit. It did. Hold the hustle slip set. I like the monster, but Rico didn't look good in his last fight. The style changed, but if he fights the monster, he's technical style. He could point. He could point out the monster. I guess that's what you meant. Um, he could outpoint, he could outpoint him. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know. What's the name's a pretty good boxer, man. He showed me that in that last fight, bro. Uh, how, you know, what I mean, and then how he even got the cut on his eye. He knew way actually with adversity. Hey, and you one know, thing I say, the, the, the way the, the way y'all talk shit about Donair, y'all better put some respect on my Oakland brothers' name. Nah, man. I did, I did. No, for real, no, for real, for I real, did, for real. No, I did. Donair, I got, Donair, I got Donair, ultimate Donair, respect Donair. for them Donair. He I didn't even look, you. he didn't look shot. He didn't even I look shot. Donair, he didn't, he didn't. That's why I picked Donair, goddamn it. Okay, shit. Now you, you wasn't, you, you didn't. It wasn't bad, and 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 like I said, I was glad to see a new way go through adversity. Against somebody way bigger, he got clipped a couple times. Uh, it was it yeah, was but Donnell it kind of got clipped as well, man. They both, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he got dropped in the eleventh round. Yeah, like Joe Porter in the Earl I'm, Spence I'm, fight. And I'm gonna say this: that fight also he, he did he go he went through hell with with Donner. But what you think Tay Tay gonna do to him? I'm just asking you. I'm asking you. I'm not saying I know. I'm asking you. What do you think Tay Tay will do to him? Nothing. Only one that even got a shot is Neary. And I'm going to leave it at that. Only nigga that got a shot, and I'm saying this for the records, y'all can record it, y'all can underline it, y'all can highlight it. I think it's in class. Only one that even got a chance is Neary. And let's see how Neary do with his leftovers. Because he didn't do too good with the piano guy. Took him a long, a long time to get him out of it. So let's see how he do against Manny Rodriguez, one of the top dudes at that weight division that Inoue took out first. So l l let's see. Oh, he's going to be on Deontay Wilder's undercard. Y'all look out for Lewis Neary. That's the fight that me and I fellas building up. Right, right, right. I just make hey, sure we check that. Don't say you're an I fella, because I've been calling for that one too. So add just me make sure we take time. that blood. You too, Mac. Just make sure we get that blood and that urine. So make sure we get that blood in that urine. You know he be messing with that clam butyrol, man. You know it's saying? just Mexican meat. That's how it's just Mexican oh, meat. Oh, man, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> According oh, to man. the WBC, you got to have. So the levels of clam butyrol oh, in your system got to be. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. Yo, man got me crying, yo. I, you know, I'm trying to be serious. Shout out to my OG, E. Woodson. I see you, Chirac, in the building. Um, we getting ready to uh, close this one out, fellas. I've been on for like an hour and a half. You know what I mean? Um, this was a good one, though. This was a good build. Um, one of the ones, you want to give some last words, brother? And shout out to everybody in the chat, too. Shout out. Uh, one of the ones, you want to give some last words, brother? Oh, he, okay. It's good having yeah. you on too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'll chat now that I, I got your email again. I, I, you know, if I if I do do something, I got you. If you around, um, no, I mean not that much. But um, this time it came through. The last time you sent me a link, I think you sent it about two or three times. It never, I never received it. I checked everything, and it just wasn't there. But um, this time somehow it, it came through. Um, yeah, Google are straight hating on your boy, man. I don't know what their problem is with you. Um, but yeah, man, they, they just shut me out. I'm surprised they ain't even um, locked off my YouTube channel or something, man. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a, a good conversation. Yo, this is the first time since probably August that I've been on the panel with, with, the, uh, with the fellas, you know? Since the um, shutdown of, of Hangout. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, since the shutdown of Hangout. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, I, I still use Hangouts, time. but you know. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, since it's... But, um, you know, 
uh, and it, boxing has been kind of slow for me anyway over the last few months. So I haven't even really been over in this sector. So it's good to catch up. Shame that Odd Fella has, it, uh, couldn't be on the panel because, you know, um, it, it's always good to have that. See, that's why I love the usual suspects, you know. Um, because we always have these good builds and, you know, different opinions and we keep it respectful. Um, but I appreciate you sending the link back. Um, it seems to be working my email, so yeah. If you um, ever want to send me a link, just yeah, drop in the email. I guess that works now. And uh, big up everyone in the chat, came through. Um, yeah, man, we'll, we'll look out for, for doing another live stream. Either on Mac, uh, stay ready, or, or 503, or whoever's panel, man. Big up, man. okay, big, big up, LDN in the house, okay. Uh, Mac, before you start cooking Popeye's chicken sandwiches, <laughs> I'm just gonna mess with you. I know you don't eat meat. Uh, close this out, bro. Man, and I, I had, you. before he go, I had them sandwiches. My cousin waited 35 minutes online for that Popeye's sandwich. And I think oh. that it's something that's in the meat. Now, if y'all remember... Me and Omega Red talked about this. Shout out to my dude, Omega Red, my OG. Uh, he said, he, I brought up the fact that people could be acting funny because, uh, if y'all remember, Undercover Brother. Now, what happened to my Harlem <laughs> brother? <laughs> this Harlem brother. Shout out to him, Billy D. Williams, when he started food. eating the chicken in Undercover Brother. What happened to mm -hmm. Billy D? And yes, he is from Harlem, y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, one of my inspirations. So, uh, yeah, man, y'all, y'all remember what happened? So, I think it's they, it is something in the chicken. I think the general was on to something when he said it the first time. Uh, go ahead, Mac. Though, close the cell. I'm sorry, I just had to bring that up. Yeah, yeah. Pick up some Andy in the motherfucking well. meat. Yeah, just like in Black I, I Dynamite. Know, I, I want to find out what, what this. Pop oh yeah, facts. Maybe I'll do it on, the, on another. No, panel. stay away from it one on one. Stay away. I don't, I don't understand what the hysteria is, but yeah, we'll get into it's that. It's none. To be honest with you, it's, it's, it's stupidity. Let me let me say this. How in the hell are you going, are people over here literally going crazy for a fucking sandwich? It, was, it ain't even good, man. House? It ain't even good. I, it ain't I, even you good. Tell me. You it ain't even me. good. I had homemade sandwiches made Bro. by, you know what I mean? Like, like other people that just taste the way better. What, what, what fast food is just really good? Let's be real. Chick-fil-A's? Man, come on, man. <laughs> Bro, it's the same. <laughs> they it's salt and pepper? It ain't. it ain't. It ain't It ain't no better. It's not. It's better than Popeye's. It's not better than mine. I bet you it's not better than I know it's not Popeye's. No, hold on. But that's what I'm just saying. Somebody that you know that can cook home cooking, you eat their sandwich, eat theirs, and who's better? The home cook one, nine times. I then. I right then. Fuck all that fast food shit, man. That shit, man. I, they I, cook I, out I, the I same. Them, they, that grease, that you, let me tell you something. One of the things about KFC is, you know, they use the same grease that's been the same grease for years. All they do is just clean the traps out, scrape all the crumbs out, and you and recycle that same grease. Over years. That's where you get them trans fats from. All these companies do it. Why y'all keep putting yourself through that? Fuck that shit. Hustle Slim said it's a regular ass sandwich. And yeah. Omega Red is laughing. got stabbed over. And you know, I made a joke about it. If somebody want to argue me, it's too soon, man. Fuck your too soon. Fuck y'all feelings. Because people want to sit here and act stupid over a fucking sandwich. And then you stab somebody because they cut you in the line. Fuck you. And them. Because that's how stupid. It's stupid. That shit is fucking ridiculous. When people want to sit here and fight and, and cause hysteria, then you got a white dude running around calling. In, in Popeyes with a bunch of black people start using the N-word. He the only white dude in there. And then he wonder why he had his ass beat up as soon as he walked outside. <laughs> man, come on. Yeah, no doubt. Fuck man, that no, chicken I... sandwich. And then y'all over here going crazy over Popeyes. And Popeyes owned by a white man. It ain't even owned by a black person. <laughs> I used to always think, just like what the general said, you know what I'm saying? I thought that the lady that always did the commercials, yeah, I always thought that she owned it, but 
I was wrong. And then I researched it and, and Max definitely right. Um yeah, but go ahead, bro. Close this out. I just had to out, I, I just had to close it. Are they going crazy in it before I get to Mag? Are they going crazy in the UK for that? Or not? Nah? No, we ain't we, so y'all we even have a Popeyes in the UK. We we don't have no Popeyes over oh, here. Oh yeah, I don't. Okay. Shit, okay. But, but but this is what I'm saying. We we got an umbilical cord to, to you guys. So we you, you When that shit about them, because I don't understand why people are acting as a marketing tool and putting millions into these people's bank accounts over what this is This is why I was asking. Okay, what what is so different? What's so special about this chicken? And you're telling uh, uh, or make uh, people in the chat was saying it's just some regular ass crap. Like it's this. Yo, it's bro, it's not about. that good. My like I said, I was uptown and my my cousin waited like i want to say 30 minutes 25 minutes in line for it and then uh I, I bought me and his sandwich and i was like let me try this shit shit wasn't i ain't even finished it that's how i know it wasn't good i'm making weight and shit normally i would dog a sandwich like that i couldn't hey, even finish it hey I, I'm, I'm gonna just say this law and i'll just say this law. yeah yeah go ahead go it's ahead just to me it to me me just looks like a fast food in Greece and all that type of stuff. Now I'm not gonna lie and try and front like I'm I'm God's gift or something. Your boy came, you done know he likes some chicken root boy, especially <laughs> fried chicken, jerk chicken. I was gonna say oh with a jerk. Days. Oh man, yo, trust me, I, I love it. But you know what I'm saying? It's just. It's sad to see people while it, I've seen women on, uh, you know, uh, uh, body painting and all of that. Popeyes, I'm thinking, what, what has possessed us? Anyway, let me get off of that. Let me get off of that, man. I'm gonna let you do your thing. All right, go, go ahead, man. Go ahead, close this out. Man, shout out to the Almighty LDBC. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Salute to you guys. Salute to everybody in the chat. Man, appreciate you for sending that link out at. You know what it is. Your boy about to whip up some more fish. <laughs> I ain't making no sandwich. I'm just for the salad, bro. Okay, okay. Alright. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get my lunch on. Okay. I'm make a badass salad. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know Country Boy's Kitchen in full effect when this bitch. Hey, y'all. Hey, make sure y'all come check check out the interview that I did with Ray Aleef, Ali, Talib Jr. He's getting ready to fight next Saturday. I did an interview on my channel. Me and 503, go check that out. Uh, tomorrow, I have an interview with Robert Redman, Robert the Hitman Redman. He um, he actually had his last fight with uh, Blair Cobb, Blair the Flair Cobb. If y'all know who that is, the one yeah, that act like yeah, Ray Flair. Yeah, yeah he, lost, exactly. he lost to uh, Blair Cobb in his last fight, in both of them last fight, actually. Uh, and he's going to be on my channel tomorrow because he's getting ready to come make a comeback next weekend as well on the same car with Ali Ali. And then Tuesday I will have Juan Velasquez on. So y'all mm -hmm. make sure y'all stay tuned to the channel. I, I got a lot of big things coming. Uh, I see you, Mac. You working. And uh, I see what y'all saying. Denise Ward said I make a better one, a better chicken sandwich. And the Omega Red said it's not the sandwich, it's the attention. I want to shout out my brothers for coming on 503, one of them ones. I'm glad to be back. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm sorry. I was dealing with some issues y'all you know if y'all haven't heard uh like i said I, I i'm back i feel rejuvenated feel very grateful was humble uh and shout out to everybody in the chat shout out to the ldbc shout out to the full berserker clan it's your boy hack reach it i never steal you wrong and we out hey come yet i got you